Hello everyone, me phone here, and I'm Son of Beast. As you all know, that the season of the NBA is officially done for the year. Now it's time to step into the postseason and get started for the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Who will be heading to the second, the championship game of the conference, and in the NBA Finals? Find out. Once this game starts here in the first round, let's get started on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, me phone 4 here, and welcome to tonight's matchup of the NBA Playoffs. This next part of the game, as we're about to be seeing one of tonight's coverage, with a rematch here since 2020 of the NBA Playoffs of this game. That means the Eastern Conference of the team are back. Bucks and the Raptors. Right now the Bucks and, and the Raptors are very the tough team to take over from the lead. But at this moment, there might be in our way that could try to take that pressure down the court. We'll find out who will win the game and take the lead in the series. Will it be the Bucks or will it be the Toronto Raptors? Let's see what happens here as the next commentary on the next line we have is Paintbrush and he'll be along with the Everett recruits here from the Everett on the sideline of this game with Silver Spoon and the new contestant of the part of the crew, Ball Round Pen. Hmm. Well, let's see how well he does. That's the part of the new one that I could definitely cannot remember this guy. Well, uh, as you've seen it before and since episode 8 of the Anime Insanity Invitational, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of not crazy to this part. But anyway, let's get the game started. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the next game. And stay tuned for the Nuggets and the Wolves at Minnesota. Coming up to you live here at Scott Everett Arena. This is about to set things up here as we're about to see the Bucks and the Raptors. Giannis on the Kubo getting ready to get this thing on the floor. And we're about to see who's the next one going to take. Bucks and Raptors. Coming up after this. Folks here in Toronto of Canada. I'm Paintbrush along with my commentators, the crew with Silver Spoon and Ball Round Pen. This is the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. Right on the sideline with Port Porter Rams, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, thanks very much. Now, you know, Giannis and Denver Kupo has one of sports' best nicknames, the Greek Freak. He said, When I first heard it, I was like, What's going on? Why am I a freak now? Then I realized it was about my athleticism and the things I can do. And so I embraced the nickname. I love it. And it's a part of me now. Kevin? I like that name, Greek Freak. That's a freak out. Thank you, David. And guys, the starting matchups are about to be seeing Pascal Siakam and Giannis Adekupo, the power of the point forward's position. I really have to say, because one of the days of this one of the only part of it, when you talk about the only way of Pascal Siakam, he is definitely one of the definitely tough men in the game. Really setting it up for that point. They're about to be seeing what's going on for the next part of the team. And hopefully, you may never know what's it going to be. Right now, we already had started with the game. All filled up, and we are ready to go. All the on the outside, on Allen with a drive. Scoop it in here as Allen has his first bucket. When you talk about that one here for Jarrett Allen, he has his one of the poor plays of this game. And you know, that point out of it was the only one that has made it successful on the range. Can be a little difficulty, but cannot be reduced game by the contact players that they were already had getting up here before. And a performance, however, they really gotta start getting things done. Here's Brook Lopez on the outside here, right towards the wing. Dish off to Middleton. Middleton swinging up over again, right over to back to Allen. Over Ogi, and Ogi receives his foul. And Allen's at the free throw line shooting too. That will be the first personal, first team foul for Toronto. 
when Grayson Allen was able to make this play, after playing with the Memphis Grizzlies, he now wants to make his team. The contract out of him for Jarrett Grayson Allen is really going to be making this one run tied by one. The one toughness is for Grayson Allen. He was able to know what, how hard he's going to handle. And you can talk about that one here. And in my occasionally, it's the very tough one to say. How Grayson Allen can be. You know, he's tough or not, but he can never slow down. First free throw off the range for Grayson Allen. Well, I have to say, this was a very tough one, to be honest. And just, only occasionally, it just may not be enough to get this thing done. You know, the same thing never gets this thing right times. Second free throw for Allen is good. Here's Van Vliet. After part of the last season of a game, his team have already lost against the the part of the season against the Chicago Bulls of a ninth and tenth seed. They were disappointed of it because now the Bulls, they want to start fighting. And you know that Michael Jordan was the only greatest player in the NBA playoffs in the history of the making. He was the best one and he was doing it again and again. Yeah, Michael Jordan was really one of the great players in the NBA. He knows his team. Kind of trying to make a struggle out of him, but they also called him Eric Jordan for as well. Eric Jordan of the brain. I think uh, everybody will like that one. But I don't know about Pascal Siakam if he's going to be able to win here to it. Well, I don't think so. Because at this point, I think like that Nike is the only way that he just really wants it. Yeah, give that one a call. Because he knows. Very tough one. I like the idea. They're going to give this one a good solution. Right now, Pascal Siakam is at the free throw line shooting two with 4.33 to go. First free throw for Pascal Siakam's good. And you know what Pascal Siakam can do? He can try to keep his team right towards the team. He knows him well. After the 2016 NBA draft, he has the point to get this one name right toward him. I don't have any concerns about him. But if you're all thinking that Pascal Siakam wants to keep a team, you might have the option to keep him good. Here's Anakubo back down the airway. Changing the setup of the screen this holiday. Rolls over to Allen. Shoots over on a note. Lopez. Over Porto's good. And uses the backboard to pick up his first bucket of the game. Yeah, as you call Brooke Lopez. Very good one to take the drive out of it. I know the layup was tough, but don't keep your mind out of it. What a great feat. A little right towards the outside, now swinging it over. Just five to shoot. Over Allen. A tough shot comes up at a loss. The chain was out there, it's not really that insane. How could this ever happen? And the free three got a two point bucket score. And Middleton with the assist. That's a great play when you're going to get that one here. But Giannis on a coupon, you really get that one a good call. The first time I will be called by Toronto Raptors with 3.35 left to go in the first period. We'll talk things over a little bit once we get back into the game. After this, just be just been out here for the good stuff. What a run for the Bucks. And right now, when you're talking about this one, the player of this one is going to go inbounding for because of Mike Bootenholz. He was able to bust out the admitting games because he was able to talk with his team. He noticed things. When he gets to those, uh, one of the players, he said, this is what we do to come here to make the play harder. It's very difficult to try to maintain the scores, and you don't want that one to keep fouling on you. You've got to stay focused. This is what Mike Budenholzer has maintained his team. And be honestly, he gets a good point of it. It's very difficult to try to keep the group alive out here. And for Team Giannis, they've really got to show him up. And for Nick Nurse, on the other hand, he really has shown it what he's going to get. 
and it's been a part of a game that he has to give it up to his team. Whenever you play for him, don't reach it. You've got to stay healthy. Healthy games, stay physical, stay contact. That's for the team of the Raptors. New substitution coming in for the Raptors. As right now, Herc Lopez has made two blocks in his game in the first period. Back in the last game, in game number two, this was the one that he was able to make the block out of it. And I can say here that Brooke Lopez was definitely one of the better plays in this advantage game. Really turning out very hard and he had a very tough, tight one. Here's Holiday on the outside. Swings off to Allen right over to Artacupo. Takes a little spin off, but Holiday's on the outside. Shoots over Van Vliet. That drive heard by Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday was really getting into it. Gonna go right around it and right to the paint. A extension, good drive here by Mobile One for Drew Holiday. That's what you noticed here before. Drew Holiday was given a good driving in layup score. Anobi finds Siakam. Siakam trying to go over with a step back too. That shot goes off target right now as Drew Holiday picks up his third rebound. After a Wednesday loss, and this happened to be the play-in tournament that was happened here for real with against the Chicago Bulls. Yeah, they're already out of here. And you know, the 10th seed of the team for that one could be an upset stores. They were really flying all over the place. Giving up on the good runs, and they are out of here. Right now the Bulls, they're moving on in the playoff match. Right now Middleton has that buck. Ball with to the second rebound. Middleton has one. Swings to Allen. He swings to Anna Cooper. Anna Cooper has Middleton has a screen in it. Going with a try. Good. Yeah, Anna Cooper, the Greek freak, has his second bucket. That score of this one is turning to be a very successful driving right towards the alley of this game. Siaka, family for three. The target missed out line, and now it's on to Kupo. Right around him. Oh, look out! Jay Greek free! The captain of it is making downtown. Oh, jeez. Wow, that on to Kupo just got two hands out of it. Well, it's a at that point. They really got a good one, so to give that one a good slam. Oh, on to Kupo! You're on to Mean Streaker. Timeout call by Toronto with under 90 seconds to go in the first period of the game. An extension start for the SmackDown for Milwaukee, 13 and 2. We're looking to try to take over for the game, and probably on that other hand, might be tough. I'm not sure if you guys want to definitely remember this one. This is what everyone really is thinking about it. Since they have definitely started playing each other since 2019 as a part of the Eastern Conference Finals. This was the only two teams that were ever playing in before. Milwaukee and Toronto? I mean, this was definitely only in a successful moment. i never seen anybody like this, but, you know, when the same old, same old happens, they always get, can't remember it, the fire, the realistic of the game, they were sure enough to keep us staying up going. And I must say I've admitted out there their main brush. They know they got some good of uh, spirits that they're gonna try to pick up the love out of it. And fans really have to try to make the support and contact each other. They're really trying to get this thing done. And right now, as we approach down here to under 90 seconds to go, a new substitution has made as the Chua checks in for for Jacob Porto. Van Vliet stakes on to the point guard. A couple players are already made some little changes as Trent Jr. makes a scoring rebound. He's also there with Thaddeus Young. Javon Carter with Joe Ingles. Then it's Bobby Porter Jr. and Pat Connaughton on the outside. Connaughton swings to Carter. Only one minute left to play in the first period. Good D by Van Vliet. That's where Van Vliet's getting a good defense to pick this run up. And a miss here by Achua. They're not getting a good handle of this one. They're just going to need to try to fix it up again. They've got to try this one all the time. 
Swings over to Portis Jr. Just five on the shot clock. And he's fouled. And Thaddeus Young calls for his first personal. That will be their 17th foul for Toronto. All oh, that happened again. Bobby Portis Jr. was making a bucket shot. And Bobby Portis Jr. was definitely one of his part of the game that really has been standing out for the most of the time. That was a part of a game that was no one else's rule. That challenging was a very exceptional run. Bobby Portis Jr. at the free throw line, shooting two, only 33.7 seconds in the first period for the Milwaukee Bucks. Advantage for the free throws of the game. He hits the first free throw. And he hits his second free throw. Pretty good right now. They're very nice. Very well done for Bobby Portis Jr. He is excellent. Sweet move. Trent Jr. right outside over again to Van Vliet. Jeeva on Carter on him. He's the pass to Trent Jr. for three. And that goes off target as Bobby Portis Jr. has his first rebound. Just only about 10 seconds left to go and Jeeva on Carter outside. Try to pull a stop on him and angles on the outside. Five to shoot. Kind of tick. Javon Carter for three. Makes the cash flutter go in. Javon Carter with his, with his first three quarter of the night. And that will end the first quarter. Javon Carter, man. That bus meter was almost going to be in there for a while. 18 to 4 run. We'll be back with the second period. We were just tuning here as we're about to get started for the second quarter. This time it's an 18 to 4 run. As of right now, the Bucks are already ahead. They want to see them win it again. But the team is regretting it. They say, no, they should never win it again. It's what the game is all about. They should not be demendable to try to loose up the run and try to stop them out of here. Well, they just really want someone else to win the game. If they want more, they better have them more. Because if you don't have that one right, you're out of here. Trent Jr. over Holiday. Got two players off the mark as Holiday has his rebound. Drogic on Van Bleek. Gives a pass over to Holiday. Going around Trent Jr. That rebound puts up here for Trent Jr. That drive was a horrible look. It looks like the fixture needs to get this done. Van Vliet makes a three-pointer. They are going right towards the line, down by 11. And Fred Van Vliet was able to put up an open set of three-pointers. They're really trying to keep it going. Arna Kupo in the middle. Good pass here for Drew Holiday. As Arna Kupo has eight points in the game. Now here's Van Vliet. alley -oop. That rebound puts up the shock run as Anakupo receiving his first rebound. It's stolen by Ananobi. On a fast break, here we go. Family. And carries out of bounds. It just won last touch on Ale. And now, with a new changeup, we have this Siaka. He'll be subbing in for Echua. Siaka. Excuse me, it has to be Dragic. Oh, thanks for the correction. In the middle, almost tipped. Siakam, no good at the... No, Kalako, no good at the point painter. Dragic trying to fight over again to Portis Jr. Middleton outside of range for three. Try to fight for a rebound, and it's on an OB with the ball. That assistant part of his targeting was very uh, painful in the depth. They gotta get this one done. Siaka, I'm trying to go back towards it. Two times, three times, again, four in a row, and he's now count the bucket of one. Chris 
Pendleton receiving his first foul, and not a chance for Ana Kuko to block the shot. Well, that Tucker was being up nine already, you're gonna have to say, don't lose it. You've gotta fix it on your own. In order to make this one game, you ain't gotta get the successful blocker, you try to take over it. And Siakam at the free throw line shooting one. He only makes two fruit shots here. A lot of rebounding here, that was five rebounds that was put in up. But Middleton, he wasn't able to take that one in time. A lot of fighting rebound out there. It might have been happening here because of Giannis Anacupo really wants to get the ball back here. Anacupo, the man, that's stopped by Portal. Good play here for the defensive Raptors, and right now Otto is in the corner of the site. Gives it off to Trent Jr. Trying to move around the ball. Oh, book on. Oh, and the Kupo got it. Oh, that's when you notice that Greek Freak got the ball out of here. Trent Jr. with the steal. Looks like the Greek Freak wants more. Well, hopefully we're going to see what he gets. And we may deserve it or not. Because you don't know what will happen. Six on the shot clock, Trent Jr. Screen on Siaka. Foul on Crowder. That's his first personal. Their second team foul for Milwaukee with 3.09 to go in the second period. And right now at the free throw line, it will be Gary Trent Jr. shooting two for another one for the Raptors free throw line. First free throw, same team for Gary Trent Jr. That possible run was a very good time to take over from the resistance. And you know, you can't let that happen again. That was really tough, and no one should ever do that. Middleton's checked in, and right now the next player is out. And he will only receive one out of two free throws. The better part of this game is not really that tremendous. But the night really has to come by. Matthews by Allen. Allen gives it back over to Matthews. Crowder with the screen. On a Kupo. Allen towards the right. Three pointer in the marker line. And the three pointer ball with six points is out. Oh, really well out there. It looks like that Allen really wants to give this one a good look at the open shot. Right from the corner, I think he got it all. Now the next time I'll call by Toronto with 2.40 to go. It's a 23 to 10 game. They've got a lot of percentage to make that higher one go in. Try out of here. They really have to show their responses to try to like keep it going with the floater. They've really got to start settling things down with the score. Exactly they do. A lot of them, respectful way. Now they're back onto the court. As a couple players are checked out for the Raptors, and a couple players are checked in for the Raptors. And also the same thing, Crowder, and what air ball! Oh no! Van Bleek couldn't get the free pointer right away. Well, that was Skirsky shot. Really not going to fix it up. And that's what happens. You can't leave the mess. Let's check out one more time. Greek Free got a great block on Trent Jr. Give that ball back. He was going right towards it. This line can never be raised by the by the dear himself, Alvada Kumpo. The Greek Freak really has to keep on coming like that. He's coming through. They're gonna keep that one in. Watch it now. Anacubo over Colaco. Good stop by Boucher. Boucher's got his first rebound and now Fiat come back to Barnes. Give us it over to Ananobi. Two minutes left to play in the first half of the game. Barnes lost the ball and Anacubo has it back. And Anacubo 
who tried Flutter in, and right now it's Lopez with the assist. Anacupo's got 10 points this game, keeping that one right around the corner to bring it all on a heat ranking of the game. Career highs, they're better than the strategy. They rarely ever went fake. They need to get this thing right on the line. Lopez with the steal. Allen towards the drive. In the bucket, and it's off the target. Scotty Barnes receives his first personal. And now their next team foul, first for Toronto. Grayson Allen at the free throw line. And Milwaukee Bucks are handing another free throw percentage with the free throw line. Yeah, they're pretty possible enough, you know? Whatever you say, you can't just leave uh, Alan by himself. You just gotta, like, stick with the flow. I mean, talking about that one, you just really gotta get over this one. First free throw sent in for Grayson Allen. Now a new changeup coming in for Toronto Raptors. I see Occam's checked out. A Chua is checked in. Second free throw will head in for Grayson Allen. He's got eight points in the game. All rest of that moment here, Grayson Allen really wants it all. OG Ananobi to Barnes in the middle. That goes right in the out. That ribbon now is really too much to make that win pay for. They've got to try to fix it. Allen swings over again to Crowder. A true on him now. Swings to Brooke Lopez. Step up with the two. Rebounded by Anna Kupo. And stepped out of bounds. Oh, there is another turnover call. That goes to Milwaukee. Well, that's a bad defensive mistake for the offense. And now for this game, it's not going to happen well. You've got to start learning to get right into this game. Here's Angles on the ball. Connaughton on the outside, dishing over to Carter. Shoots over Van Bleet. Now, a tricky shot here, but it's missed in and out. They always can't say because if Javon Carter was able to get the shots right in here, he's got to try to do his better angle. We hit that ball, 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 the bar go in. That's very that hard to bear it inbound. What a play. Scotty Barnes really got a good one. He's really up. I must have been here. He was doing really well. And that was your mobile one drive for the Raptors. Carter swings over again to Ingles. Ananobi swinging over again to Connaughton. Goes right with the two. Oh, Chua got a piece of it. Deep three, Ingles. That's off the rim. Just 10 seconds left to play. And Ananobi goes right over to Connaughton. Chuck Denard by Portis Jr. And that's off the target. So that is the first half of the game. Milwaukee extending the lead by 15. We'll catch you on the break on the sideline, but now we got David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Mike Stout, effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? Just think our activity on the ball, we got to try to keep it in front of us. Our bigs did a good job, I think being big in the paint, making big stuff there. We got to finish it with a board. Yep, rebounds and positions, coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. Please stand by for the halftime show. See you later. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. Right now, it's about that time for the halftime show for the first half recap. I was about to see the Raptors and the Bucks. With the Bucks for the starting of this game, the Greek Freak is showing off in his spirit. Just gonna say that he's gonna kill everyone. This part of the game just does make sense, as this one turns to be the overmaking of the game. Let's start off with the Bucks. They're going out of the percentage range. First seed of this game was turning to be an excellent of the run. They're keeping their eyes on the prize. And for Toronto Raptors, they really are starting to struggle a bit. 
And hopefully on that occasion, they'll try to see if they can try to rebound it again. That part of the game might be tough, but don't be surprised if you see the Toronto Raptors come back with a fast break. That might be hard for them to try to pick them off the belly. Inbounding and technique score. And that's going to wrap here for the halftime show. Now we send you back to Paintbrush and her crew. Go back by now. It's the time for the third quarter. See you all later for the postgame show. Welcome back to Stadia Bank Arena as we're about to start the third quarter of the game. And you see what they say. They always call it the Greek Freak. They love it how it is. Not a freak out, not a freaker, just a Greek Freak. Yeah, Greek Freak is definitely a great name. Because you know, he's that an ancient of the Greek, the mythic of a god. And you know, that was definitely one of the occasions that was playing here in with the, uh, the uh, part of a European country. He was never usually there. I don't know what's the bigger uh, point, but there might be some other way that we can try that stuff though again. And a three-pointer comes in for OG Anobi. They're coming down here by 12. Anakupa swings over again to Middleton. Trying to move around Barnes. Now I'll take the pass over to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Lopez. Portal. Shot stop made by Portal. That Portal was a game to, to get the defense on the on the wing. Oh, see ya down. One and dunk down. And just going right to her back to ten. You've never seen that one. That's not see ya down. Wow. That beast jam. Ho, ho, ho. I like that one. That's a very tough one. I think it's either. Allen, double man on him. He steps over at Van Vliet. The score for, look, for Allen, no good. Not tough one you can say about this one. The tough man is not very good. A Greek Greek rejects it. But Giannis has recalled the foul. And it's now 4.47 to go in the third period. Right now at the free throw line, we'll be coming in. As right at this moment, Pascal Siakam just got a jam down and wants to go right to the free throw line. Well, you could definitely say what Pascal Siakam was definitely doing. It. Keep your hands in your say. He really got to get this one over. Yeah, I definitely agree. That was all he was going to ever take. You missed the first free throw. That's tough on the angle because you got it shoot correctly. They're giving off the percentage right away, just like they play in tournaments. Trent Jr. checked in for OG Anobi. And he missed the second free throw. Oh, that's a tough one right now. Pascal Siakam has to go back to work out there. For the next part of the game, you'll have to stay in focus. Middleton. And a pass broken up, and Portal has a bound. On a fast break, here we go. Good stop. Portal, reverse the dunk. Time to end, jam. Now the fans are on the feet. Give a pass to Lopez. Around Portal, and the drive is good for Brooke Lopez. He's got a second bucket of the night, and they're just trying to go back up by 10. Not too fast, and they've got to slow this one down. You can never stop messing anybody. Trent Jr. for three. Got three pointers off the mark, and it now sends back to Middleton. Holiday on the outside. Trying to give the pass over again to Brooke Lopez. Dish off to Allen. Around Trent Jr. and he's fouled. That's Trent Jr. with his first personal. And their first team foul. And now another one occurred. Is their fourth team foul. I just don't even say that Allen was going to be able to get the drive in. It's not really that optional on this game. 
Perfectly, I would have more when I would have to get it. It's not that easy. Alex at the free throw line shooting two with 3.36 to go. The free throw sets in for Allen. And now the new changes are coming in as Crowder and Wesley Matthews are checked in for the dynamic duos. Dynamic duos? What does that mean? Middleton and Allen Kumpo. Remember that? Oh, I never knew that. I thought it was. Well, there is now. That's what you know I did before, Silver Spoon. Oh, thanks for asking. I like that one to hear. <laughs> We'll have it over on Crowder. Trent Jr. on the outside. Barnes towards the middle. Great stop by Crowder. Three for Van Vliet. Good on the outside. They're down by seven. Making it quick on the motion out there. And down by nine, you bet. Lopez swings the pass to Al Holiday. Drew on Matthews. Getting it back, back over. Lopez. Swings around Jacob Porto. And that two players off the mark. And yeah, they're absolutely trying to like fight for it back. They just gotta really gotta keep it going. Van Vliet scoops the hand right toward the drive. Now the time has been called by Milwaukee with 244 to go. They're just flying it fast. Keep on down low. You're gonna definitely need that one to play hard, play aggressive, and you will be successful. Raging perfect timing. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just noticed that this one's gonna be another one fun night here. Bit of playoff tonight. I've been showing things up, but they are gonna go for. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by. Adidas. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by your local Kia dealers. The moment on fires. And the changes are coming along the way as the Bucks are making new changes here for the players. All four players are checked out, and all four players are checked in. And right now the Raptors are making new changes here as Siakam's checked out. And right now Vadius Young's checked in. Gotcha. Two pointer. Nice shot here. For the pointer from six from nine feet. Murray got a good setup. Yeah, better situation. And Trodger with the steal. Here comes Matthews with a drive. And nice loader. Matthews got a great steal. And a first bucket. That's what you call that one here. The uh, the the uh, the triple and uh, and a uh, and turnover and then just took them away equals the layup drive. That's what they uh, always got for. Apparently lost a two-pointer again. Pat caught it to receiving his first rebound of the game. He waits, now goes right toward the right side. Connaughton passes to Crowder around Barnes, and that's good. Two pointer for Crowder, who's good in the line. And right now, with under a minute and 40 to go, Van Vliet out of recover. Trent Jr. finds Young. Barnes for three. That shot goes in and out. Lost the ball, and now it will be Portis Jr. around the other way. Only Scotty Barnes receiving his two points in this game. The effort was nothing but they done it again. While that better of this one career for Scotty Barnes, he was really putting it too much up again. He has to start going from right line to left line. All he has, nowhere to go. Scotty is young with the jam. Off with the two-pointer right towards the other way. And Drogic with the ball. Now Portis Jr. Tries to give it off to Weapons, Wesley Matthews. He gives to Bobby Portis Jr. Or a portal drive floater in there for Portis Jr. is good. His second bucket of the night. The 
the Raptors trail by 13. Trey Jr. finds Taylor Van Vliet for three. The freeze off the mark. Now 30 seconds in the, in the third period to get it done. Trojic swings to Crowder. Off to Matthews. And a three second calls for Jay Crowder. That will be the first turnover for Milwaukee and a pointer on the paint. One more time for the Greek Freak block. Rejection and did it again. Yeah, you know that, but that's because you know Giannis Adekubu was slamming it. The bigger one of a save, we was definitely going for it. I really like that one. The player of this one is really fucking successful. That's the North and here in the deer. Van Vliet trying to go around Carter and Matua has the ball. Now swings over again to Trent Jr. Seven seconds to go, Van Vliet for three. And a good reach here. Down by ten. All they really have to do is just like not lose points. Tragic and lost the three-pointer deep. That will end the third quarter, 39-29. Fourth quarter underway next when we come back after this. All for time roll out there. Get ready for the last quarter. Better plays this game. The last challenger, the last part of all. And we have a moment now to release the state pharmacist to begin. And the definition of this one. The part of the one single words, and because you know, the better of this driving offense puts the Wesley Matthews. And we have that one. The right hand of a drive is given off to you by Josh. That was a better play, and he had it successful for the last career season. It is now fourth quarter. Hope you all enjoy with us, and now we're ready to finish things off. The pride, the better. Off and ready to go. Here's Carter on the outside. Suits over Van Vliet, and that bucket counts in for the two point stride. Givon Carter in for the pursuit. The better of this one for Givon Carter really gives him up a excellent run. That was a stumble. Turn two to for three. Good on the outside of Emily with the six. Going down by nine. They're just trying to tackle it off. Watch out now. The better play of this one. Trey Jr. and Van Lee are getting back into this one. Ooh, I never want to see this at all. Why not? Well, because of that one. We're doing a lot of passes. We're doing really well. Trayvon Carter missed the layup. That drive was very tough. The inbounding was not really that successful. What do you think is going to ever happen? Another three-point miss for Toronto. Adekuba swings off to Lopez. Try to give it two. That player in the feed. Good year for Brook Lopez. 4.50 left to go in the fourth quarter of the game. Now off to Trent Jr. For the middle. Makes a scoop and drive in the paint. Trent Jr. has right now a number one good score and Van Lee with the assist. All of this happened, good going. Back to back scores. Yes, they did. Exactly. Carter looking it out of it. Ryan Singles. Just five to shoot. Eagles. Towards a setback. Three point line is off the mark and it missed again. Ananobi, 42. The rebound up by Achua. Shoots it up. Passes over to Tua and went and dumped down. And Siaka with a jam. Anakuko, right towards the outside. Step for the two, no good. They're trying to race down towards the attacker. Great stop here, as right now Anakuko receiving his sixth rebound of the game. Anakuko swings over to Ingles. Ingles for the two. Caught the bucket. They count the bucket as for Ingles to have his first bucket. Yeah, he's very quiet. 
Now he's all well alone and ready for the next one. Free up and no good. Carter on the outside looking for players to try to pick up a mound. Lopez swings to Ingles. Otto Cooper with the three. That's off the mark and it rebounds again by Siaka. Van Vliet. Oh, the oops successful! Wow. The fans are going with a jam jam style. They love seeing that because they really wanted to get the dunk. I didn't see it what was going on. I like that one when it comes to bigger, better drive. Well, as you may say, this was really that top of the excellent play this year. Nobody has ever heard. How much do you really like playing basketball? You always have it on the comments below. Of this drive in this part of the game was really like an impeccable run. The battle of this one really has turned out to be great. But for his long career goals, he really has it all coming down toward the edge. Allen, who we were on the setback. Oh, what a great stop here by Cordell. Van Vliet up to two. That rolls in and out. Now swings over to Milton. David Aldridge has reported it to Mike Budenholzer, but what is team can definitely try to keep it going. Without making it an ankle breaker, we'll have to try to fix him across to go with another range. Middleton reaches back over to Ana Kupo. Ana Kupo will play stuff. It's rebounded up by Pascal Siaka. We're approaching down right now to two minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Looking for a three and miss the target here. Kupo, swings to Van Allen. Allen over that Lopez. Lopez no good with the two-pointer shot and three-pointer shot. Line up out of angle. Might need to fix that one if you're going to get this one over. Here's Halle. Swings off to Lopez. Lopez swings to, to Allen. For the two, shot rebounded by Lopez, and it's good. They're just going all right all over it, and they're just going to like try to keep on going. The better playing example it is, the more they will do. Right now, here's the class. Portal lost the dunk. No, oh, no, that was not very good. Middleton swings over to Ana Kupa with one minute to go in the fourth quarter of the game. It's right now the top leadoff score. Ana Kupa swings to Middleton. Takes a shot over Van Vliet. And no good here as right now Barnes has his throw and rebound. So he's taking that one aggressive out there. And Siaka makes the three. He's off to Allen and he's fouled. Gary Trent Jr. received his second personal. And right now, another team foul releases for Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Try to run a man on him, West and on a Kupo. And here is Puchichev. Piochev has got his first bucket and a timeout called by Toronto. 32.9 seconds to go, almost done for the third game of the period. But there is more to get this thing down and off headline to finish the game up. We'll be right back with you after this. Listen, the Bucks can be going for extension lead 3 up. 
Well, I must have been out there. It was a very nice day. Definitely, on that one occasion, to give this one a good setup. Hmm. Clearly, I would have to proclaim yours, and maybe that's a great way to try to stop the players from going in battle as the player of their possessive job. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Your local community of Mormon Ad Spires. And my State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. With a player possession for the Raptors, here's Portal. Now he finds Ryan Obi. That goes off the line. And Allen will have the ball back. Now back over to Middleton. Middleton swing it over again to Middle. Up and overhead pass to Holiday. Going for his three. That shot was tipped out. Range of discussion cannot be successful if you're going to try to give this one a good credit. And another air ball comes up for Pascal Siaka. And the Raptors could end it up with the end of the game three. And now with the final substitution for the Raptors and the Bucks. Letting the clock wind down for Holiday. And that will do. Your final score for the ninth game is 49 to 41. It's been a hard one run of the game. Now for the Bucks. They can't be waiting to see this game and the Raptors to get back in the action in game four. Yep, definitely done that great. In my prayer position, it's good to be true. Now let's send you over to David Aldridge. Paintbrush, thank you. And right now, Giannis on a grupo. What does that usually keep the game out of it for you? It's amazing. I think uh, the whole group, the whole team played hard. The whole team was ready, everybody stepped up. And, you know, this is what makes uh, the average uh, team from a big team one good team. I know you guys are looking for great and not good. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. And that's going to wrap it up. With me, Paintbrush, and, and Silver Spoon, along with Ball Round Pen, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Thanks for watching, and now let's go over to Meat Phone for the Post Game Show. See you next time. Paintbrush, thank you very much. And for right now, the final score comes in for 49-41. to 41. The Raptors trail by 8, but they couldn't make a win to try to pull a deck from the Toronto to over the Milwaukee Bucks with the score. As you may have told, that this game was a hard one to try to put a pressure out and may not know what will happen. This could be a win or, well, definitely just get back in the game. At least if you're going to get expected, if you're going to try to keep that one on your own. And here's how well they did. Three blocks for the, for the Bucks, three turnovers and ten points off for the Raptors. 14 fouls were given here for Milwaukee. And then the biggest lead of the change was 17 for the Bucks. And one dunk only gets performed for the Bucks. And five dunks here for Toronto Raptors. 33% for the three pointers was Toronto Raptors. And three throws, free throws, 88% of the game for the Bucks. And now we close things off for three star players of the game. Let's get going. The third star, however, it will be the only part of a game that's matched up into the possessive. The third star goes out to Pascal Siaka. With nine points and nine rebounds, he only made out in a one dunk performance with a slam jam. And nine performance of this game. And that was all that Pascal Siakam did. Now, on to number two. Number two, on the other hand, as we get this thing right towards the line, you'll have to see it for yourself. This called for, what do you say? The Greek Freak. 10 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. I can say that he was really that tough one in a while. And you know, you can never just try to like phase things up here for the Greek Freak. I love seeing this guy. <laughs> Very well done, as you can definitely never stop this guy 
from the captain of the Bucks, and only 19 performance run and one dunk. And the first star player of the game goes out to Brad Van Vliet. 11 points, one rebound, five assists. Well, that's all he was going to count for. And every buckets he made, he definitely have it all. With the sooner, the better aggressive, and the drive of this making. Well done for Van Vliet. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. And that second game will be coming underway soon. As right now, Kevin Arlen will be out for the part of the game in game four. And right now, Brian Anderson will be at Minnesota at the target center. Because right now, Son of Beast won't be able to be back here in this part of the game after this pregame show and the halftime show. Now, let's get this thing out of the way. 49 to 41 is your final score. Milwaukee leading it up by 2 to 1. We'll see who got to, gets the next one. And right at this moment, will be a tough one to release. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports Style. Me forward and out. See you next time at Sarinara, Toronto. Until we meet again. Bye bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.